Today we're gonna talk about different lens filters which you can use to give your projects a cinematic character and make them stand out. Hey guys, welcome to my new one. In the last couple of days I've been analyzing my favorite film projects with the intention of getting new inspiration and make my projects look even better. Watching those projects I've noticed one common thing. All the projects have their own optical character. Some of them are filmed with anamorphic lenses, some of them have very bloomy highlights or heavy distortions. But why should we use lens filters at all? The problem we all have is the perfect over sharpened image that you get from a modern camera and lens. It's just too perfect, too boring and there is no character at all. And that's the reason why I started looking for some cost effective solution to achieve unique effects and give my image more character and making them stand out. So let's start with the first filter, Tiffin Black Promised. Honestly, this is one of my favorite filters on the market. This filter creates a gentle glow around bright highlights, which is very useful for reducing your artificial sharpness of the camera. And it's also creating this soft, dreamy look in your image. But it's not only perfect for this type of effect. You can also use it for interviews and make the skin smoother, which is making your client looking better. And they will probably be happy about this and you'll get more bookings. <laughs> You can get this filter from different brands in different glow strengths. I personally use the Tiffin one quarter since it makes my image look very cinematic but not too dreamy or vintage. But if you want to save your money you can also create a do-it-yourself version of this filter by applying a thin hairspray layer on a normal UV glass. Um, the problem with that solution is you cannot clean it and you can't tell exact amount of the glow effect. Now moving on to the next one, the split diopter. This filter was originally designed to focus on both near and far subjects at the same time without closing the aperture and losing a ton of light. In my case I use it to blur out certain areas to create a unique effect or to hide any objects I don't want to have in my image. By the way if you want to get one get a middle split diopter to have two options with only one filter. You can use it the normal way or you can simply remove one element and use it with only one lens. Also a great thing about this filter, you can rotate the frontal element and decide which area of your image you want to blur out. My filter is from the company named Newer and it was very affordable. I will link all the products in my description. Off to the next one, the triangle prism. My prism is very very old, it's like 7 years old. Look at all the damage on the corners. But yeah, this piece of glass is like a kaleidoscope. You can rotate it and create beautiful reflections, colorful flares and dynamic compositions. Back in the day I 3D printed this adapter to be able to mount my prism on my camera but all the modern prisms have already a mounting point inside them so you can also attach it to your camera. But that's not it. You can also use this prism as a light filter to create cool reflections and colors by putting it in front of your light. Just be creative, try it out and see what you can create with this. I think it's pretty cool that we can achieve all the beautiful effects with the simple and inexpensive accessories that are even used in bigger productions. At the end of the day, all we want is to create an interesting illusion for our viewers and fascinate them with our image. I hope you liked this one, if so give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my content subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you in my next one. Alright, another one. If it's still there, you can help me editing it. <laughs> and I also need a lot of B-roll. All right.